Once again, welcome to another exciting episode of Complete Sports Update, the show that brings you up to date with events in the world of sports. My name is Solomon Jaguesi, and my name is James Aguirre. Hello, viewers. So it's nice to be on the show again today. To start our discussion today, we'll be looking at the prelude to the World Cup and injured Eagles delay World Cup list. That is, Keshe to check on AGD, Igebo, Yobo, Balogun's health status. Also, Keshe to prove 38 man provisional list to 30 before May 10 deadline. What do you have to say about this, James? Well, uh, it's Keshe's um, World Cup list, the provisional list, uh, at least it's this uh, list that a lot of people have been waiting for. They want to see, um, they want to have an idea of um, the, the, the players that are going to represent Nigeria at the World Cup. Um, for Kechi to now delay the list because of uh, I think three injured players, a GD, Balogun, and a Gebo. Um, I think it's trying to be cautious. You know, it would be nice if you include players who are injured, who you feel maybe as time goes on, they will be, they will, you know, they will overcome their injury and you know make the team. But we've seen instances where players after getting injured. They, they get um, called up to the national team for assignment, they go to the tournaments and at the end of the day, they don't get to play in the tournament and it doesn't speak well, it, it, it goes on going, affecting the, the team. So I think it's, it's a good one from Keshi. Uh, I think as I said, I think from my own view, he's trying to, you know, give everybody that opportunity, you know, so that in future nobody will come out and say, I wasn't given the chance to, you know, play for the country when I had the um, the chance. Of. So I think uh, let's, let's just give him the benefit of the doubt. Let's see uh, what uh, happens. But I know that at the end of the day, we're going to have um, a good squad that represent, uh, represent, uh, represent us at the World Cup. Also, still on the World Cup, Eagles World Cup camp opens on May 27. What do you have to say about this? Uh, May 27, I, I believe um, for that time, most of the, the major leagues around the world would have, um, you know, concluded, and players will now have the opportunity of hooking up with their national team. Uh, let us let's hope that um, by that time, most of our players would have, you know, been through their club size and they will be in good shape for the camping exercise. So I think uh, May 27 is not. I think it give them uh, enough time to prepare for the tournament and, uh, you know playing series of friendly games, you know, getting acclimatized to particular wherever camp they are, they, they, they could decide to take them to. So let's uh, let's see what, uh, how things uh, pans out. The wrong one. David Moyes has been sacked as manager of Manchester United. David Moyes, who took over the helms of our Manchester United from Alex Ferguson, has been sacked. What do you have to say about this? Uh, David Moyes has been, uh, you know, the, we, this is something that has been uh, it's, it's been in the offing for, for a very long time, you know. We have saw this coming, you know. Um, after uh, Sir Alex's uh, retirement, he decided to pick somebody who he felt, you know, has what it takes to lead the team, just like what he did when he first took over in 1986. But unfortunately, things didn't go the way they planned, you know. The Manchester United will not be in the next season's Champions League. The first since 1995, um, 96, I'm not mistaken. And uh, under uh, Moyes, they've created all the wrong records, you know. So I think the, the management, the I think the, 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 the their hands are tied. They they just felt like if they, they just have to do something to rectify the uh, situation. I felt um, they should have left him to the end of the season because you just have like less than five games to go, you know, win or lose, draw, whatever, they're not going anywhere, you still remain where they are. Uh, well, uh, it's, the, it's the management, they hired him and they have the right to uh, say they don't want him anymore, which he finally did. Uh, and Giggs will, and uh, Nicky Bott with uh, Paul Schools, they will, come, they will handle the team till the end of the season, so let's see what the management will now do. Uh, concerning uh, hiring a new um, coach, I, I, I think they are, they are not going to uh, give the job to um, what they call Ryan Giggs because of uh, I think they want to like they want to go for somebody who they feel that's what it takes to you know handle the team and take them to the next level. So 
It's, it's so unfortunate that the guy had to leave after just uh, nine months in charge. Also, Champions League first leg. Chelsea hold Atletico Madrid to a goal leg. What do you say about this? Chelsea, Atletico Madrid. Um, for my own, uh, I think I, I think the game was mm, didn't to me didn't live up to expectation. Very uh, drab game. I think that it has, maybe it has to do with the, the, the approach Chelsea decided to you know take concerning the game. The Atletico team, they, they, are, they are the only team that have never they've not lost this season in the Champions League. And um, Chelsea, I think my, my, it was just a, a, a strategy by Mourinho not to concede or even lose in the first leg, believing that in the second leg they, will, you know, they will the home advantage and um, the support and everything, they will able that they will be able to uh, scale the hurdle and let us see how things pan out next week. Because uh, can't rule out an uh, Athletic yet. Because I remember in 2009 when Chelsea played against Barcelona. In, at the new camp, it was a, a good last draw, but in uh, Stamford Bridge, the game ended 1 1, which uh, eventually um, knocked Chelsea out of the competition. So, all in all, um, when I say it favors Chelsea, but you know that in football, strange things do happen. So, let's wait and see uh, how uh, the return leg uh, turns out. UEFA suspends Barcelona transfer ban. Barcelona was suspended due to discrepancies in their management for hiring younger players into the club and this has been banned as as part of the things you shouldn't do as a as a as a football club. But you see we saw um Barcelona doing this by um hiring or signing younger players. What do you actually about this? Barcelona um ban being uh, suspended I think is I think it should come as a sign of relief for them. Because you can just imagine after uh, you know come summer when most clubs are will be you know doing uh, business buying and uh, also selling players. <coughs> well, you, you as a club you will now be restricted because of um, uh, certain um, actions taken which went against the rules and regulations you know of UEFA. Uh, I think it's, it's a good one for them. I think we will now give them the opportunity to. You know, make one or two purchases because, as it stands, um, injured goalkeeper Valdez, all things uh, being equal, is not is not going to be in uh, Barcelona come next season. So I believe they, they they are already making plans to you know get someone in. Also in their defense line, I think they are trying to bring one or two players to you know make things right because I have, we've seen that this season Barcelona has been. Um, they, 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 they will find one thing when it comes to the defending, you know, and see they, have to, they still have to look at certain you know, positions in the team. Like, uh, I learned, um, uh, what's it called, Alex Sanchez is uh, attracting interest from my Juventus, you know. And uh, so, I, uh, for the effort to now come out and say they, they suspended the ban, I think it's come as a huge relief for them. And I believe they will want to use the opportunity, you know, to put the team in shape, pending when the the, 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 the UEFA will now have to sit down and uh, re-evaluate re or, you know, try to know if they are going to take action or they are going to uh, lift the, and the ban uh, completely. This round of another exciting episode of the first of the take of the week. Do you think it was right for Manchester United to relieve the employers of his job after just nine months of service to the club. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.